Wake up. Your bad habits are ruining your life. Don't lie to yourself. You know that there are things that you do every single day that literally are the cancer of your life. They cause you pain and suffering, but you think that it is leisure. These are the five worst habits that you probably do that you need to stop right now. I want to say a vast majority do this first thing, like 99% of people, and you need to stop. Your alarm goes off, you wake up, and the first thing that you do is get on your phone. You're not getting on there to check the weather to see how you should dress. You're getting on there and you're consuming bullshit. You jump on your email, you see some unread messages, and anything negative immediately starts your day horribly. When they say that you got up on the wrong side of the bed, it's because on that side of the bed you had your phone. I swear to God, every single time I've woken up in a bad mood, it's because I read something on my phone that I should have waited to look at later. The thing that you should do when you wake up is get up and make your goddamn bed. You've literally already achieved more than 99% of people by doing one simple task the moment you get up. Go brush your teeth and make yourself a cup of coffee and go sit outside. Whether it's freezing cold, pouring rain, go outside and sniff some fresh air. Wake up. Hopefully it's sunny because the first rays of sun in the morning are the best for you. It sets up your circadian rhythm for the day. You won't have that drowsiness in the middle of the afternoon after lunch and you will go to sleep at a normal hour if you avoid bad habit number five. Imagine that technology doesn't exist for the first 60 to 90 minutes of your day. Wake up, go for a walk, be outside, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, breathe fresh air. It's so simple and it will be the best start to your day. I promise you, do what you're doing now for a week and record how you feel throughout the day. Then next week, just wake up and don't look at your phone for 90 minutes and look at the dramatic differences between your mood, your humor, and the effectiveness of the things that you do day in and day out. The second bad habit that 99% of people have and I also have it. Consuming short form content. I swear to God, this is the most addictive thing on planet Earth. Every single time you swipe and watch a video, you're getting a hit of dopamine. And if you sit there for three hours and you watch 500 short form videos, you've gotten 500 hits of dopamine. You are fucking up your entire dopamine response system. No time in human history ever have we gotten this much dopamine and we are completely screwing ourselves up. We have no good radar of what is good and bad anymore. We just consume and consume and consume. I do not have Instagram on my phone. I do not have TikTok on my phone. If I need to upload a video, I will download the application, upload the video, and delete the application. Occasionally, I find myself in the black hole of scrolling aimlessly on short form content. I will upload a video, I'll hit the shorts, and then 20 minutes later, I realize that I've been mindlessly scrolling and I'm like, what the f It's a disease, it's a drug, it is so addictive. Delete that shit off of your phone if you are not a content creator. The content that I put out, as they're flipping through videos of people doing backflips off of cliffs, I can give them one piece of education that might spur them to stop scrolling and get on the charts and do the work and self-educate. Bad habit number three, and I am also a victim of this. Indulging in shit food. Snickers, Pringles, Skittles, soda, ice cream, an extra large meat lover's pizza, a bowl of pasta literally half the size of your torso, cake, desserts, and snacks. All of this shit is just a horrible, addictive, bad habit. If you struggle with this, as I do. What I want you to do is continue doing what you're doing for an entire week. But what I want you to do, I don't want you to track calories or any of that shit. I want you to take a picture of everything that you put inside of your mouth that goes into your stomach for an entire week. And then at the end of that week, scroll through all of that shit. Don't lie to yourself. Don't cheat yourself in this process. Take a picture of everything that you put in your mouth. Look at what percentage of that is sweets and garbage food. If you took all of that shit out of your diet, you would sleep better, you would look better, your clothes would fit better, you would feel better, everything in your life would be better. I use this watch to track my sleep every single day. All of my physical activity, everything. My heart rate, my oxygen levels, everything. When I eat that shit food, and it usually happens at night when I just binge eat ice cream and pizza and chips. For the first four hours of my night, my stress levels are off the charts, and then I fall into deep sleep. 
I'm literally wasting half of my sleep trying to digest the shit food that I put into my body. When I eat healthy and I prepare all of my meals and I hit my 180 grams of protein a day, I sleep like a god on a bed of silk and feathers. I wake up refreshed and motivated the next day to do all of the crazy shit that I do. So if you're addicted to sweets, stop it. It's killing you and you have no idea. Bad habit number four, spending way more than you earn. This is a plague on society. Everybody I know, look at the statistics on Google, just Google it. What percentage of the US population is in debt? Credit card debt, student loan debt, medical bill debt, whatever. It's a ridiculous number. People get credit cards, to buy things that they can't afford with cash at the moment, and then they get charged interest on that, whether it's 10% or 19% or 36%. Some of the credit card interest rates are ridiculous. You are digging yourself into a gigantic hole, so much so that you are unable to get out of it, which means that you are locked into the shitty job that you have that you hate just to pay the minimum payments on those bills. You've created your own prison through your cycle of, I'm going to say this nice degeneracy. You are a degenerate if you live your life that way. I don't know if anyone's ever told you that, but I'm going to be blunt with you. If you spend more than you earn, you are a degenerate and you need to stop. The best thing that you can do is file bankruptcy so you don't have to pay any of that shit back and you will never have the ability to take out credit ever again for the rest of your life, which is good because now you can spend the money that you have and not money that you don't have. And by far the worst habit, habit number five. Sleep is everything in your life. If you do not have good sleep, you will die sooner. You will get less time in this body, on this earth, to do things that you want to do. To spend time with your family, to spend time with your wife, to spend time with your kids, to spend time doing hobbies that you love, to go travel the world. You will have less time to do all of that. If you think you're going to live to 100, if you don't get good sleep, you will live to 61. 40 years. Are you willing to sacrifice 40 years of your life by not getting sleep? If you got a comfortable bed, sleep is awesome. And the one thing that is screwing up your your sleep more than anything I could possibly imagine. And you can look up the statistics on Google. I mean, not normal Google, Google Scholar. Look at the articles and peer reviewed journals written by doctors and physicians about looking at your phone before you go to sleep. It is the worst thing that you could possibly do. You're not only screwing up your dopamine system by doing this for three hours before bed or binge watching an entire series on Netflix and you've gotten seven episodes deep and that show is absolutely bonkers bat shit crazy and it's causing you to have bad dreams while you sleep ruining your sleep even more you're not able to fall asleep when you lay down you stay there rolling around and thinking about things for like an hour and a half before you can actually fall asleep right most people consume content like that until their eyes burn so that they can fall asleep faster and it's having the adverse effect so here's my suggestion don't eat two hours before bed an hour before you go to sleep go on like a 10 minute walk just go walk if it's raining walk in your house. 10 minutes, just walk around, get the blood flow going. Once you finish, take a shower, brush your teeth, put your jammies on and go lay down, lay down in one position, get comfortable. And if you have trouble overthinking at night, literally just repeat this nonstop until you fall asleep. Don't think, don't think, don't think it sounds stupid. It works. I use it like every day. If I don't do these bad habits, I sleep great. I feel great and I look great. I'm a better dad, better husband, I'm a better trader, and I'm more creative. My life is better. So you think that all of those things are leisure and relaxing, but they're fucking everything up. Stop it.